have had it with these arbitrary declarations passed down by our predominantly democratic and entirely tyrannical mayors and governors. It's time for these so-called leaders to face the music, and it's time for we the people to start demanding answers and holding these wannabe dictators accountable. It's time for final thoughts. Folks, I thought I moved to Nashville, Tennessee a few months ago, but it's looking more like Los Angeles freaking California, the place I fled from each day, and it's nauseating. First, it was our mayor's stay-at-home order back in March, which he extended all the way through May, even though our neighboring cities and counties reopened. Then it was the phase reopening that gave us all a little hope, only to be dashed when he pulled the rug out from underneath us about a month ago, returning us to phase two. Yes, this was after he announced a 34% property tax increase to pay for his shutdown, and after he encouraged BLM protests, which led to the historic courthouse being set on fire and historic lower Broadway looting and ravaged. Then it was the mask mandate. Then it was the announcement Nashville students wouldn't be returning to classrooms. And when that just wasn't enough, what did the little tyrant do? He forced bars to close and impose a 10 p.m. curfew on restaurants, a move that crushed and continues to crush Nashville bars, businesses, employees, musicians, and residents who rely on tourism and nightlife to survive. And just to ice the infringement cake, our tyrant mayor has implemented yet another order. This time prohibiting open consumption, possession, and late night to go sales of alcohol in downtown and midtown Nashville. Wow, it would seem to me this has far less to do with COVID and far more to do with Mayor John Cooper's personal vendetta against Broadway and midtown bar and restaurant owners who happen to be his vocal critics. None of it makes much sense unless you factor that into the messed up equation. Does it make sense to force restaurants to close at 10 p.m.? Is coronavirus more contagious after 10 p.m.? Does live music and social distance tables transmit COVID any worse than the freaking strip club a mile down the street that's allowed to be open till 3 a.m. Monday through Thursday and till 5 a.m. Friday and Saturday? Because I think the hell not. Take that in for a moment. Let that marinate. A strip club is allowed to be open, but local bars, many of them iconic bars that built this town, have to be shuttered. Mayor Cooper, does that make sense to you? Would you care to explain that to your constituents? Because I was out at Winner's Bar and Grill last weekend when your lackeys came and shut it down after counting the folks in line as patrons and claiming it was over capacity. I was there again the next day when you sent Nashville Metro PD officers down to enforce mask rules on the curb and limit the number of people in the establishment to 50, including the staff. I was there. I was there and I looked into the eyes of the bartenders and waitresses who made little to nothing that weekend. The employees, wait staff, security, janitorial team that didn't make enough money to justify the gas it took them to get to work. I was there. I saw that. Where were you? Or are you so pompous and important you can't so much as meet with these bar and restaurant owners to explain your twisted and arbitrary rationale? How disgusting and how absolutely ridiculous, by the way, that our Metro officers are staged up on Broadway in the streets of Midtown to make sure masks don't fall beneath the nose when we all damn well know they have better and more important things to do, like keep our city safe from domestic violence, drugs, sex trafficking, drunk driving, and everything else that truly puts our city in danger. This is a total farce. Picking winners and losers on a whim and feeling that a tweet alone is all the explanation we deserve. Folks, I might be here in Nashville, Tennessee, dealing with a tyrannical Democratic mayor hellbent on flattening Music City, but I know this isn't just a Nashville problem. I know hardworking Americans all across the country living under the seemingly never-ending closures, restrictions, and arbitrary mandates have had enough. So it's time to get vocal. It's time to start calling your mayor's office, your governor's office, your city council, all of your so-called leaders and representatives. It's time they start answering to the people, and it's time we stop feeling too ashamed to ask the questions. This will not end until we demand accountability, explanation, and common sense. So get bold and do it now. Those are my final thoughts from Nashville. God bless and take care.